Okay, everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make a perfect cup of oolong, also known as wulong, but uh, this is how you do it. The most important thing is your water has to be at the right temperature. This particular pot will allow me to set it, but you're looking at 195, okay? Of course, that's Fahrenheit. If you don't have a kettle that will let you do temperature, the best thing you can invest in is a little, like, cooking thermometer. They'll cost you, like, three or four bucks, maybe 99 cents at a 99 cent store, and use that as a way of measuring your tea. Other than that, you have to boil the water and let it sit about three minutes, and that's about the right cooling temperature. Uh, this pot was cool because it'll set it and let you keep it. What I have here is some nice oolong, also known as oolong, like I said, and it's a really good uh, antioxidant tea. And also, some people say it'll keep you slim. So, here's the important thing about this type of tea. First thing you need to do, dump it in a cup or another pot. Um, a lot of people use two separate pots. I don't really like to do that too much cleaning anyway so take your water at temperature and you pour a little water over just enough to cover the leaves give them about 10 to 15 seconds to sit in that water and basically all we're doing here is rinsing the leaf now I'm gonna take the strainer and strain it out okay that's good a little bit more water to get the rest out Okay, now take the leaves that you have, put them in your pot, and what I do is I just pour the water over the strainer. Make sure you got it all. Fill them up with about a half liter of water, because that's how many uh, how much leaves I have, and you just let that brew. It takes about two minutes. We'll be right back. Okay, so it's been about two minutes, and Wulong is really good in a three to four minute range. Uh, but what I like to do, because when people say that they don't like tea, what it normally is is somebody used the wrong temperature and they burnt the tea or they overheated it. Especially if you don't have a kettle, like this one, again, that will keep your water at the correct temperature, sometimes it's good to go in in about two minutes and just check for potency. Put your strainer in, pour a little bit out. Uh, that's good, but I'm gonna let mine go a little darker. So I will go. I will go ahead and give this one a full three minutes. Um, one thing to be careful of: this uh, Octavia tea. They make great teas, but American Tea Company. They tell you to use boiling water, and they tell you to let it cook for like four to five minutes. And both of those answers are wrong. Uh, really, most teas are good at about two to three minutes. Um, some of the black teas you need to go three to four. Normally, not longer than that. And again, check for potency you know halfway through your brew process so that way you don't overburn your tea and come up with a bitter tea anyway my pot is ready so I'm gonna go have a drink I hope you enjoyed this video and again just giving you some information about the getting the tea together because I love tea and I'm trying to teach myself a lot about it so I figured I'd share my knowledge with you hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe to the channel aloha